Well, press secretary, circle back Jen Psaki. She tried to warn us about Sippy Cup Joe. She tried to warn us about the never-ending, ever-so-confusing, mumbling and bumbling and stumbling Joe Biden all the way back during the campaign. Uh, Joey Sippy Cup, if you're watching, if you're up past your night-night time, uh, if you haven't had your warm milky and your little sippy cup, well, this is the message that you're projecting to the rest of the world. And don't take my word for it. Just listen to your own White House press secretary. There have been a number of moments where even those of us who have affection for Vice President Biden think, what on earth is happening right now? From, from, uh, uh, Char excuse me, from Charlotte, one, uh, another line going from in, in Florida down to Tampa. That is a major factor. We, we don't see that, that, look. So the best way to get something done if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. Jen Psaki sees what we see, but now she's just hiding it. That's Joe's sippy cup with the presidential seal. So ask yourself the serious part of this. What do you think Vladimir Putin, President Xi, the Ayatollahs on Iran, the rest of the world are thinking when they see this? By the way, they're not being influenced by the media mob and those protecting Joe. They see it for what it is. America, we do need strong, forceful, decisive leadership. The world needs it. We need clear, cogent, common sense th thinking. Uh, but what we're getting from Joe is the exact opposite, a never-ending stream of stumbles, mumbles, and outright incoherence. And by the way, what is the rest of the world thinking when they see zero experience Hunter traveling all over the world, profiting off his father's diplomacy, cutting deals he has zero qualifications to be involved in? Why? Because Joe, quid pro quo, and zero experience Hunter? Well, they have a lot of explaining to do tonight about the Biden family syndicate, the corrupt syndicate, because a breaking story from Hunter's laptop, Miranda Devine, New York Post, and it reveals that Joe Biden himself, back in April of 2015, he appears to have met with his son's Ukrainian, Russian, Kazakhstan business partners at a nice dinner in Washington while he was vice president. And according to records on Hunter's hard drive from hell, well, now as we previously reported, the day after this dinner, Wow, Hunter got an email from an executive at Burisma Holdings uh, about an opportunity and thanking Hunter for the opportunity to meet his father while he was vice president. And get this, Hunter appears to have used his role on the board of the World Food Program as a pretext to introduce his business associates to daddy. Quote, the reason for the dinner is ostensibly to discuss food security, Hunter wrote, before adding, quote, Dad will be there, but keep that between us for now. Thanks. Uh, now, Joe Biden is on record saying over and over and over again that he never once, not a single time, ever discussed his son's foreign business dealings with him. Really, Joe, do you stand by that? Take a look. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business yes, dealings? Yes, I stand by that statement. Yes, I stand by that statement. Well, he's lying. Now, it does explain something, doesn't it? Why would a vice president ever say you're not getting a billion dollars unless you fire a Ukrainian prosecutor? Why would a vice president want a Ukrainian prosecutor fired? Because that was the prosecutor investigating his zero experienced son being paid millions. Now, add this explosive new development to what we already know. It was exposed first by Peter Schweitzer, Senator Grassley, Senator Johnson, and others. But it's about time we get actual answers, actual transparency from Joe Biden. Imagine if it was Donald Trump. 
We have a lot more coming up. But speaking of and demanding straight answers, we do turn to our other top story, and that's surrounding, you know, Dr. Doom and Gloom flip-flop Fauci, who continues to play coy on how your taxpayer dollars were spent at the Wuhan lab of virology and whether they were used as part of what is called gain-of-function research. He was grilled by Senator Kennedy of Louisiana on all of this yesterday. Take a look. You gave them money and you said, don't do gain of function research. Correct. And they said, we won't. Correct. And you ha have no way of knowing whether they did or not, except you trust them. Is that right? Well, we generally always trust the grantee to do what they say. And you look at the results. Have you ever had a grantee lie to you? I cannot guarantee that a grantee has not lied to us because you never know. In the past, he said, oh, they, we never did such a thing. Now, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, the Biden administration still reluctant to ever be critical of China at all. And now they're still deferring to the corrupt WHO on a probe into, to the origins of this virus. But we're now learning that the Senate has approved a bill that will now require the Biden administration to declassify intelligence on the origins of the COVID-19 virus that killed how many people worldwide, how many Americans, and a top U.S. general is sounding that alarm. China's COVID cover-up is hampering efforts into getting to the bottom of where this started and how to prevent it from ever happening again. Remember, only a few short months ago that even mentioning the lab leak theory got you written off by everybody in the media mob and the Democrats and big tech as a conspiracy theorist just for asking the logical questions. But now, by the way, the corrupt left-wing institutions, they're now doing a complete 180, and they're in total damage control mode. For example, Facebook, oh, how nice of them. They finally ended their ban on posts about the lab leak theory, acknowledging that maybe it wasn't a conspiracy theory at all, just like the New York Times is doing, fake news CNN is doing, the Washington Post is doing. But still, despite growing evidence supporting the lab leak theory, well, some in the media mob still don't want to ever talk about it. And they don't want to be able to ask legitimate questions. For example, fake news reporter over at the New York Times tweeting, quote, someday we will stop talking about the lab leak theory and maybe even admit its racist roots. OK, but alas, that day is not here yet. Oh, Maggie Haberman blaming Donald Trump. I guess they really at the New York Times wanting to get real answers about a virus that has killed millions worldwide. That's racist. The destructive Democratic agenda doesn't stop there because the Biden administration, they're now trying to jam through that guy as the ATF nominee. Alcohol, tobacco, firearms. David Chipman is his name. No friend of the Second Amendment in our Constitution. Stumped repeatedly yesterday when asked to define, well, you want to ban assault weapons and you don't want any police and schools protecting our kids. Well, what is a, an assault weapon? Can you define it? Watch. Do you believe in banning assault weapons? I do, sir. Okay. Define assault weapons. Um, assault weapons would be something that um, members of Congress would define. Well, how do you define it? You're going to be running the agency. Um, I, Senator, I think this is a good question. If I am um, confirmed as ATF director... Um, i got 35 seconds left. Define it for me, would you please, sir? Um, What's an assault there, weapon? Yeah, Senator, uh, um, the bill uh, to ban assault what, weapons is what is your dozens definition of pages. Of an There's weapon. no way I could define an assault weapon. You don't have any. You're going to run an, this agency, and you don't have a definition of assault weapon. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.